just his nervous twitch to play with things, so... <laughs> you just looking for some more crates or something? Yeah, well, I'll just draw on this later. So <laughs> draw Katy Perry. So <laughs> she did some Monty's one. <laughs> I need to get a few others in the group. I've just forgotten about it, but I had to get Monty, so... I had to give me some hair. Someone had to. True. But all that stuff about not wanting to face your filing, not wanting to face India, that, you know, that was just a load of rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was mind games. Nah. <laughs> nah, honestly, I just speak my mind. Um, I don't particularly love bowling to India. My figures don't always come out great. And with the way that I bowled that first game, it was honestly tripe, bit of tripe dished up there. So um, I know I've been bowling better since then. So coming into this game, I wasn't exactly not wanting to bowl to them. Um, the way it came across in the media came out that way, but it's what you guys do for a living. So, um, yeah. It's cool. People were saying it's mind games. You can think that all you want, but it was actually just kind of fun to kind of read everything on the internet. Twitter's a absolute gem of a place sometimes. Yeah, quite a remarkable tournament after that game, and especially with no Tay, no pairs in the lineup, you feel like you had to shoulder a lot more responsibility. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously trying to lead the pace bowling attack is kind of hard when you're not the fastest bowler in the team. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. For us, well, for me particularly, I just wanted to execute the plans the best I could. I think for myself, having those two out didn't really change too much in terms of what I did with my lengths or with my cutters or anything that I try to achieve. It just meant that there was obviously a little bit more pressure on me and. I don't really mind that. When um, that first over went for 16, was that the, the kind of the nerve settle that you, I mean, in, in today's first over, went for 16, not the one, sorry. <laughs> I was like, the, the thanks for bringing game. that up. No, yeah. no, I, the, the one today. What, was that the nerve settle for this game that you guys really needed, and all the hype about the game, the crowd? It was honestly awesome. Um, I, I was nervous, but I was also more so excited than anything. I think Meg has mentioned a couple of times that we're actually just really calm. I think we're just happy to be there. And I think the moment really hit us when we were on the bus and we saw the people queuing up to get in just for us. Like that was such a, a special occasion. And, and once we started warm up, we were just ready to play some dang cricket. And the way those two went about it, um, Midget Moons, I don't know. It kind of just really set the tone in terms of that's what failed in the last time we played India was our batting so, uh, batting, so um, they want to make up for that and they shorted that. Were you able to soak it up that last say 10 overs when it was clear you guys were going to win were you able to just take a look around and go what's happening here? Sort of yeah I think I was soaking up the whole time I was out there. I don't know I've, the Mexican wave and the lights on the phones, I don't know everything that was going on was just, it was absolutely insane it's kind of the stuff you dream about but you don't actually think is going to happen and um, I didn't really think we'd probably won it to the last maybe five overs to go. You just never know with cricket. Um, so once we could seal some late wickets there, it really just kind of put the nail in the coffin and we could celebrate. And I can't think of any better way than being on the field and actually bowling the ball at that time. So. How much did experience help you today? You've done this so many times. This was India's first final. Do you feel like they struggled with the occasion? Yeah, look, it's hard to know, really. I think T20 can be a fickle game. I think we just batted them out the game in that first innings, um, which put them under the pump immediately from the get-go. So... Um, People like Verma, you know, she's she's an X factor and it's either going to come off or it's not. And I think you know, obviously getting the early wicket of her just amped us up so much and maybe set the tone for, for the rest of the innings. Um, but they're going to learn from that. I'm sure they've got a bright future ahead. Also, yeah. this team obviously got 50 ever World Cup coming up. It must be a huge appetite to get that title back. Gosh, I, you're, you're thinking way too far ahead for me. <laughs> I, I was saying over there that I haven't even looked at my journey when we leave in South Africa in a few days. So, um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Obviously, the last 50 World Cup didn't go to plan. Um, it's in a conditions I don't think that will be too dissimilar to Australia. So, and um, I quite like New Zealand. So, hopefully, I'm in the team then. Now that it's done, how heavily did the pressure weigh on all of you? And, and sort of, you know, in those moments where you thought, oh, this might not actually go to plan. What, what was that like? And um, not a great deal. I think there's always pressure on us to perform, whether that's in a World Cup or in a tri-series or anything like that. So obviously losing that first game to India just increased the pressure for the next three games. We essentially played four knockout finals in a row and um, I guess a few of the players kind of thrive on pressure. It's a good thing and I think when players are coming hard at you, which we knew every team was going to do, um, we're going to be the hunted, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it just made for a really bloody good tournament and a really good contest every single match. How do you plan on celebrating? <laughs> uh, I can't say on camera. No, nah, um, <laughs> a few bevs, that's for sure. I'm just going to enjoy a few beers with my teammates. I think the, the best part out about our team is we absolutely love being around each other and yeah, there's been a few tears around. Um, we want to hold them in till we probably go to bed tonight, but um, yeah, just enjoy each other's company. When do you head off to South Africa? I don't know. <laughs> Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Well, LJ knows. I mean, yeah, I would check Joe. So. We will be in South Africa this time next week. That's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.